I'm going to describe the simulation on the left where we're adding one component to a binary mixture that's already in vapor liquid equilibrium in a piston and cylinder. We're given the number of moles in the liquid phase and the vapor phase and then the mole fraction, in this case of hexane. So it's a hexane octane mixture, ideal solution. And we're going to add hexane. We could also select instead add octane. And when we push the play button, the system will go to equilibrium. And we want to understand what's the equilibrium condition when this happens. We also have the option of selecting the PXY diagram. And the PXY diagram then helps us tremendously in being able to understand the system behavior. And here's our starting point. Then we inject, we'll see where our endpoint is. So if we add hexane, we're going to move to the right in this diagram at constant pressure. So let's go and look at the actual interactive simulation. So here's the interactive simulation where we can select how many moles we're going to add to the system. And then we click play, the system's going to go to equilibrium. In this case, a significant amount of liquid evaporates. And if we understand what happens, we can go and look at the PXY diagram. So let me reset. Here's where we start it. And we inject it. We move to there. You can see where we move on the diagram. If instead I inject in octane, well now we can move into the all liquid regime. And so let's reset. So we start out with a mixture of hexane and octane. And now I'm injecting pure octane, constant temperature, and we go to all liquid. So we can use this to get a little better understanding of this PXY diagram and what it represents in terms of physical behavior of the system. In this case, we're looking at something at constant temperature, which corresponds to this diagram. And then the changes we're looking at are along this constant pressure line.